This is going to be a very brief overview of some of the features that you can use with the premium version of Grammarly. So if you sign into your Grammarly account, you should be on premium. So there's two things that you'll want. The first is that you'll want to have the Grammarly Google Chrome add-in so that it automatically leaves spell check and grammar check any emails that you're writing and stuff like that. But for writing papers and so forth, you'll really want to use the Grammarly editor. So you just go to grammarly.com and it should automatically take you to a screen that looks like this. Then you'll just press new and you'll paste in your document. Here's just an example of something that I've pasted in. And as long as you're signed into your account, you should be able to use all the advanced features. So you'll see some advanced issues. You'll also get a scorecard down here. Some of the great premium features are things like overused words and repetitive words. If you actually click to expand, then you'll get a little bit more information on what that error or correction is suggesting. As well, they will tell you some other words that you could use. So instead of splitting, maybe you would use breaking and you can simply click on the word and you'll see that it automatically changed it. If you didn't actually mean to do that, you can always just undo it by clicking right there. If you're using passive voice, for example, it will give you a little suggestion on what passive voice actually means. So that's what expanding these cards would be. Sometimes it'll just give you word suggestions. So paste in, they're saying you should use paste into. So if you just click on it, you'll see that it automatically changes. Or if I didn't want that, I can just undo. Another thing that's really helpful is if you need a synonym for a word. So say complex, I want a different word for complex. If I simply double click on the word to highlight it, then you'll see that on the right sidebar, I will get a bunch of different synonyms for that word. And if I just click on one of them, then it will automatically change it there. Again, I didn't mean to do that, so I'm gonna undo. You will wanna make sure that all your proper options are turned on. So if you go over here to this icon, I recommend that you just keep it on general default, but you can change what type of paper you're writing. Make sure that you have contextual spelling on, grammar on, punctuation on, sentence structure on, and style on. Make sure that all of these are turned on so you're maximizing the features that you can use. As well, there is a plagiarism check. Now, I actually copied and pasted this text from somewhere else, so you'll see that this says that my whole thing is unoriginal and actually links me out to where you can find the exact thing that I copied and pasted in. Anyway, that can be a nice feature to turn on or to turn off as you want. So normally I keep my plagiarism check off, but you might wanna scan through your document before turning it in. As well, make sure that vocabulary enhancements are turned on, that's really important because that's where you'll get some really good recommendations on ways to improve your writing. Just click down here on your scorecard and then you can just download a detailed report and on the first page of that document will be your scorecard and then your whole essay with anything that they suggested that you change. And so that's a brief overview. Remember that some of the most important things are making sure that you're signed into the premium account. If you're not, then you need to go to grammarly.com slash edu and then press join your organization. And from there, if you sign in with your Bullis email, then you will automatically be upgraded to premium. The second thing that you'll want to make sure is that all of these things are turned on under this icon and also that vocabulary enhancements are turned on. And then the third thing that I just wanna remind you, if you double click on any word, then you will get synonyms right here that pop up and you can just click on any of them to change the word. And there's also an undo button that will pop up immediately if you didn't mean to make that change. Note that Grammarly does autosave, so anything that you're working on will automatically be saved here and you don't have to worry about losing anything. So hopefully that helps you get started and that you'll enjoy using Grammarly to improve your writing and your proofreading.